Are you tired of the standard black and white options for cases today? Or maybe you've got an older case you want to jazz up a bit. Or perhaps you took a Dremel tool across the finish of your case while you were modding it. Might have happened. Well, in this video, we look at solving those problems. Hey folks, welcome back to the second video on our InWin 301 project. Today, we are going to look at painting cases. Now, there are a lot of reasons you may want to paint your case. Maybe you can't find a color you like out there, or perhaps you have an older case that you want to add some life to, or maybe like me, you were doing some other mod and managed to scar up the finish. Well, painting the case is an easy way to take care of that, but the first thing you need to do is find out how far you're going to go with this. And this is one of those projects where you can either just do a little bit of surface work or you can jump down that rabbit hole and wind up doing a way more work than you ever intended to. So you want to set a limit. Uh, for our project, we could get by with just doing the exterior of the case since that's the only spot that we scarred up. But we're also going to do the interior as well since it, I've got it all taken apart. It's given me a chance to, to work on that outside of the case. And I can pick a color that contrasts nicely with what I'm doing with the outside. And overall, will add to a nice project. So now that we know how far we're going to go with our case, we need to kind of figure out what we're going to do before we start painting it. And that's where prep comes in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to prep this case by taking some sandpaper or a scotch white pad, something around 320 grit, and basically roughing up the paint everywhere just to make sure that what we spray on it has something to bite onto, something to hold it on. Uh, since this won't actually be a chemical bond, it'll be a physical bond. So I've got a couple different things here, you know, regular sandpaper works. I'm probably going to use a scotch Brite pad since this does a really nice job of getting in the corners and all the little edges. Um, if you've got mechanical or air tools or something like that, that works fine. Just anything to get that finish scratched up to where the paint can bite onto it. Uh, and you may be wondering, Dave, why, why don't we just take this down to bare metal? Well, because that's a whole lot of work. Uh, I know for a fact that this in-wind paint is very, very tough to get off uh, and go all the way down to metal. So while you would get a better paint job starting from the base up without uh, having any pre-existing paint, as long as this paint's not flaking off or damaged, it's a perfectly fine base for us to go back on to. Paint-wise, we're gonna be going with rattle cans. So uh, we're gonna be starting off with an etching primer. And what that's gonna do is, even though we're scarring the case up a bit for a bite, this has a little bit of an acidic property that will actually kind of grab onto that a little better. Uh, so that's going to be our first coat. Then we're going to go back on the exterior with a metallic blue. And the interior is going to be silver. And while these would be a perfectly fine final coat, you can also go back over the top of it with a clear if you want. I'm probably not. I'm reserving that choice until after I'm done painting. Um, just because it may be something where I want uh, a little deeper finish. But that's always an option. And it does give you a little bit more protection as far as dings and dents and scratches. We're going to start sanding with our metal pieces. Now these have a really good coat of paint on them already so it's not chipping off or anything and we just want to go over it, rough up that exterior paint and basically buff the shine off of it. If the shine's gone when you're looking at it, it's probably ready. Uh, but we're going to go over the whole case. Now I do have a few spots where I got a little uh, aggressive before with my uh, Dremel tool. And what we want to do with that is we're actually going to take some sandpaper and make sure that's smooth and doesn't show up. After we finish our metal pieces, I'm going to start on the plastic stuff. Now, I'm going to use a red scotch Brite pad for that because I don't want to get too crazy with the plastics. They're pretty soft, so all we want to do is a nice scratch on the outside. Also, at this time, the 301, this plastic part in there has some metal or some plastic tabs that are covering uh, wire management holes. And now's a really good time to take those off like I did. Because basically, if you don't and you paint everything and then you pull that tab off later, you're going to have some of that black plastic showing through.
Now that everything's painted, it's time to stick all this stuff back together. Now I do want to mention that between my primer coat and my color coat, I went back with a red scotch Brite pad and roughed up the surface of the primer. That does two things. Number one, that rough surface helps this color coat stick. Also, if I'd have had any dust or anything kind of settle on that primer coat, that scotch Brite pad would help knock that down and give me a nice clean surface to work with uh, and put that color coat back on. So we did that. And I realized that I also haven't ever showed a video of actual techniques of using spray cans. Um, so I, I've put that on my list of things to do to actually show you how to use that can to get the best finish possible. So that'll be coming up at some point. Um, also, after we put all this together, Inwin was awesome enough to send me some of their Polaris RGB fans. And we're going to be taking a pair of these, throwing them in our mounting spot for our 240 to see just how cool all this looks when it's put together. So stick around to the end for that. Right now, Let's put all this stuff together. All right, folks, we got it all back together. Everything came out great. The finish was a little more satin than I was hoping for, but um, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna stick with it. But if you wanted more of a gloss, you could go in and clear coat this thing, get that gloss back out. Um, there is one thing I wanna talk to you about on prep that I screwed up on and I don't want you to screw up on. And that is, with this case, there are a lot of countersunk screw holes. So flat heads that sink back down to mount flush. I didn't get in those holes and really scratch them up really well so the paint didn't have anything to stick to. And when I put the screws back in, the paint popped on a lot of those spots. So I've got a lot of touch up work to do. Luckily it's in spots where you're not gonna see it more often than not. So I'm gonna be the only one that really knows it, but that, that kind of thing bothers me. So uh, when you do this on your own, make sure you get every little spot scratched up and sanded because otherwise, you're gonna be going through the same process. And there's no reason to. It takes like two seconds to get those holes all scratched. So uh, definitely something to think about when you're doing your own prep work. Now, the fans came out very nice. I'm, I'm really happy with them. Uh, probably my new favorite fan. I wanna thank Inwin for sending them over so I can play with them. Um, that whole daisy chain feature that they've got where you basically run one wire back and then daisy chain from fan to fan. So nice. Oh my God, so nice. Uh, so this thing's probably going to look like a Christmas tree when I'm done with it just because the fans are so easy to hook up in it. So um, overall, very happy with how this turned out. Now, next video, I believe we're going to go in and add a little bit more to uh, the industrial look of this. I'm not really sure how to describe what I'm doing. I don't want to give it away. So it's going to be more, we're adding metal. That's, I guess that's the best way of putting it. We're going to add some metal to this thing. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to find out what sorts of metal we're adding in the next video, hit the subscribe button. That, that's a, the worst description of an upcoming video ever. Oh my God. Uh, but if you want to see what comes up next, hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a question or comment, leave me something down in the comments. And I guess until I see you all next time, get out there and mod something or paint something or get some fans. Uh, whatever floats your boat.